summoned to lay down the rules for the foundations of Perinthia. The astronomers established the place and the day according to the position of the stars. They drew intersecting lines of Decumanus and the Cardo, the first oriented to the passage of the sun and the other like the axis on which the heavens turn. They divided the map according to the twelve houses of the zodiac, so that each temple and each neighborhood would receive the proper influence of the favoring constellations. They fixed the point in the walls where the gates should be cut, foreseeing how each would frame an eclipse of the moon in the next thousand years. Perinthia, they guaranteed, would reflect the harmony of the firmament. Nature's reason and the gods' benevolence would shape the inhabitants' destinies. Following the astronomers' calculations precisely, Perinthia was constructed. In Perinthia's streets and square today, you enter cripples, dwarfs, hunchbacks, obese men, bearded women, but the worst cannot be seen. Guttural howls are heard from cellars and lofts where families hide children with three heads or with six legs. astronomers are faced with a difficult choice. Either they must admit that all their calculations were wrong and their figures are unable to describe the heavens, or else they must reveal the order of the gods is reflected exactly in the city of monsters. <laughs>